All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Oh, man. I, mean, I can't believe that we finally made it to Friday. You know, I know technically it's Friday, but in a couple of ways it does not feel like a Friday. Let's refresh this page. I actually spent yesterday, I think, maybe the day before as well, actually watching uh, an old acquaintance, I guess. All right, not even really an acquaintance, but... Somebody that I knew a while back, all right, Andrew Tate, um, or Cobra Tate, as I like to call him. So he's like this, you know, hardcore right-wing guy that makes a lot of money, you know, and he, you know, obviously sleeps with, like, you know, super hot women, right, 10 out of 10. So this was, like, years ago, and then... You know, Mike Sarich and all of us in the right wing, you know, he basically got a bunch of them into, like, his, uh, at the time, I guess, the war room kind of thing. You know, they did, like, a little seminar. You have to pay 2500 bucks, etc. I didn't go because I was like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really into too much of that. Anyway, Andrew or... Andrew Tate. Uh, Cobra Tate was on this really popular sh Twitch streamer, uh, Aiden Ross, and I've just been consuming all that content. And he completely des and Cobra Tate also completely decimated XQC. And I could I, I could see in real time the difference between my generation because Cobra Tate's 35. I'm a little older than that. The millennials, ver like successful ones versus the su successful Zoomer generation, and there's just no contest. You know, like. I like, the simple fact that XQC would not defend his woman under any circumstances, and he would hide in the house if he and his girlfriend or wife were sleeping upstairs in the bed, and then, like, there's an intruder that breaks into the house, and it's like, it's like, oh my god. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. But, you know, the good news is a lot of, a lot of people on Twitch... You know, they're, they're now exposed to, like, what real masculinity is. So, you know, now, now I think it's time for me to try to up my game, too. Because, yeah, I mean, things are doing all right now in the markets, right? Crypto's also coming back because I guess the Federal Reserve has decided, hey, you know, we're, we're you know, we're, you know, shit's getting a little too real. You know, we got to make sure the peasants have something to work with because if all their money is being dumped uh, onto food and gas and they got nothing left and barely... You know, pay for anything, they're going to start becoming really hardcore right wing people, and we can't have that. Right? I actually don't blame the Fed, believe it or not. You know, but they do have enormous power. But even if you got rid of the Fed, we'd still be going through the problems that we have now. The only difference is when shit goes down, those, there's not going to be a, I want to say, a safety net. There's not, there, there's nothing that can, anyone can do. That's why. I think that's uh, that's ultimately why people agreed to have a freaking central bank, which unfortunately means we now have permanent income taxes. So, you know, like everything else in life, it's a trade-off, right? You know, you get one benefit, but there's a downside, just like the video games. You want to take that perk, right? Well, there's a negative to it, all right? Again, depending on what it is. Like in Fallout, it used to be called, because I've been playing Fallout a little bit, uh, Fallout 4 anyway. Um, and they don't have this anymore, but there's something called a trait where you get a positive and you get a negative, and then you decide what, you know, what you want to do. So, you know, life is very much, you know, a series of trade-offs. Sometimes you just get the benefit and there's no downside. That's fantastic. But you can't, but you can't expect that to be the case every single time, right? So, you know, that's, that's what you got to do. So anyway, I, I'm just uh, like uh, binge binge watching on like a bunch of Andrew Tate, Cobra Tate stuff. I can already feel myself becoming more manly and much more blunt. All right, so but you know this this YouTube channel is not quite some uh, not quite there yet. And on top of that, you know, I do want to actually check out the Hustlers University for fifty bucks a month. I mean, I have actually bought Cobra's courses in the past. They're short to the point, and there's no bullshit. So I do know that is legit. So I'm thinking, well, are people really making money off of this shit? Because I am familiar with copywriting, right? I don't, don't want to do that, though, because it's like, okay, I don't want to deal with clients, even though I can copyright really well. I used to sell and market, all right? There are people who do, like, wholesaling or selling shit on Amazon. I know that actually works. I've had someone else try to teach me that, and then I decided, you know what? 
you know, I really don't want to be dealing with this because I'm not really a physical goods type of guy, all right? I can sit on my ass, look at the computer screen, do a little clicking and typing, and then boom, you know, I make money in the stock market or, you know, cryptocurrencies, right? Cryptocurrencies are my thing, but I would like to expand heavily into stocks because there's more money in there and more importantly, it's existed a lot longer too. So everything that I need in place, if I can figure out how this stupid stock market actually works, you know, would be a safer bet. I pull all the money from these, you know, from the markets or whatever, right? You know, Fed just generates money out of thin air. And then I go live my life, right? Get really rich and then, you know, hopefully have some kind of impact on the world that's positive. And then, of course, I pass that on to all you clowns and Pip Hagas. So you, too, could, you know, be a, I don't know, be free to do whatever, right? Maybe some of you will become like a huge asshole like me, right? Yeah, but no, we're uh, no, we're nice people. We're nice people, but I don't know. There's a lot of data I gotta go through, but it'll be worth it. So you know, I'll I'll, t I'll take a look. I gotta just go through some old material, just more research, and thank God it's actually the weekend. I could actually use a you know a break, you know. So and I also wanna take my health a little more seriously too. So you know, jump rope's been doing really really good. So I just need to ref improve on that. So anyway, that's the, I mean, I know that's not related to money directly, but, you know, your personal life and your mindset are actually, ultimately determines how much money you're going to make. If that's, at least, if that's one thing Cobra Tay has been repeatedly been saying, yeah, that's actually true. So if you don't think you can make it, then why are you watching this channel? In fact, why are you trying to make money? You're not going to make it. All right, you have to believe that you can make it, no matter how bad things get. All right, I mean, look at my situation, all right? I'm literally just like, uh, like what, a month, a couple of weeks away, maybe a month and a half away from, you know, running out of money and then, you know, possibly, and then having to move back in with my mom and dad. Do you see me panicking? No. Do you see me getting emotional? No. Right? You know why? Because I've been through this before. I know how to get in and I know how to get out of it. Right? This clown, that's on my t-shirt. You know who he is? His name is Donald Trump. He does the same shit. In fact, he wrote a book about it, right? My favorite Trump book from 2008, How to Think Big and Kick Ass in Life. He talked a lot about that because he was uh, in the what, late 1980s, early 90s. Everybody was getting killed in real estate, and Donald Trump was one of them. He said he was like two, three billion dollars in debt and was very close to bankruptcy, but he battled back. It's the same shit. You can't, you, you can't, you can't get negative. You can't get focus. So much on these numbers here, like where everyone's losing their fucking ass in the stock market and crypto markets, right? I just did some tweets from Richard Hart where people are getting their asses handed to them by, uh, you know, Celsius and all these other, like, scam clowns, right? Voyager Digital, Three Hours Capital. People are losing their shit. I mean, you know, we all go through it. I'm going through it. Maybe some of you are going through it. This nice girl I know on Twitter, right, Victoria, I'll just leave her at that. I mean, if she watches this, she knows who exactly who she is, right? Can't catch me. <laughs> right? Hi, Victoria. Right? She even tweeted out. She's down like $50,000 like a month ago, all right? I don't see her fucking, you know, panicking. She's living her life. Does it suck? Yeah. But, I mean, you, 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 it's like, you know, ups and downs come. So what are you going to do, all right? You can't sit there and cry. That's an option. But you're not going to make money. So you just got to keep... Focusing on what Trump says. Don't ignore. Acknowledge that you're in a negative situation, but don't focus on it. Focus that same energy on solutions, even if they're bad. Just keep focusing on the solutions and the positive. You'll get through it. Right? And it actually works. And hey, lo and behold, you know, shit's going back up. All right? One of the problems I'm having with Greg Manorino is he's a little bit too negative focused. Right? I'm seeing shit go up, and he's still saying everything's going to collapse. That's actually possible. But, I mean, here's the thing. You know, because he's been saying, A, they might be lying, right? the system's lying, blah, blah, blah. And then number two, they're propping up the markets. Well, I'm looking at this, and through my own analysis so far, it looks like it's working for now. They're propping up the markets, right? Liquidity crisis, that's the thing. How do you actually see the liquidity crisis? I mean, if we're really having a trouble, then why is this, which he used to mention, 
Still kind of flat, but it is going up. I don't know. Greg's not completely wrong, but he might not be completely right either. And like he said, he's been wrong all year, this year. So he's obviously got some gaps. So this is so this is why it's important, A, to be a man, if you're a male, right? Which is probably half of you at least. And you got to think for yourself, right? And because I'm thinking for myself, now my financial position's improving, all right? My sphere is going up, which I don't have a lot of. My million dollar baby, I mean, I should do a video on that. That's up a little bit. I only put a little bit. Then Stable Fund app is doing okay. All right. And then this, you know, Hustler University shit, it works. You know, I'm going to be making money off of their options and uh, cryptocurrency stuff. All right. Because I'm just, I'm not even going to do the analysis. I'm just going to follow what the professors do. All right. Because I know Cobert Tate is a real G. And he's like, and now I'm starting to talk like him. All right. I know he's, he's actually legit. All right. Because he actually taught, you know, I don't want to get. Through, I don't want to go through all the secrets because now you have to pay him like five grand for the course. I paid like a lot less because I bought it three years ago. So, all right, it's a lot of money. So if you're not willing to fork the money over, then you're not being serious. All right. So I and it's actually more important that I don't discourage you. So that's why I don't say too much. At least unless I'm doing some kind of review, and maybe I will. All right. You know, because this is ultimately a self-help channel focused on making money, but. You know, I got to, you know, improve myself, too. So, so, yeah, because there's not really much to talk about with the markets. And technically, I'm waiting until 8.30, which is 8.31 a.m. Have they updated this yet? <sighs> okay, I, I can't wait any longer on, on the Fed now GDP. So, so, yeah. I know, this is going to be a little different. But I'm not going to do a clickbait title on... Uh, you know, on this YouTube, I'm, I'm probably gonna actually, you know, try to rank for uh, Cobra Tate because you know he's uh, he's trending a lot on YouTube and Twitch and whatever. So, and it is pretty important because you know your mindset's fucked. I mean, well, <laughs> yeah. Good luck making money. All right. Good luck making money. All right. So I think that's enough of that for now. I'll make some more videos on the uh, Cobra stuff. You know, once I dig in and then start making hopefully some money. Yeah. Because I just want to get in, use my money, because my time's very valuable, and I just want to pull out more money than I put in. You know, that that's the thing I have to research. So there's only one way for me to find out. All right, so stock futures, we're doing okay. Now it's actually coming down slightly. All right. Yeah, because yesterday, just like I tweeted, I even said in the video, the central bank's going to prop everything up, and they did, right? Everything was down bad yesterday in the markets, and then like a miracle, throughout late, as the trading day progressed, oh, gee, yeah, everything's starting to go back up. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, because, you know, this is a bullshit economy, and everything runs basically on manipulation, and it works. That's the thing that I'm not hearing anyone else say except me. It works for now, all right? So... You know, just like I used to try to gain SEO in the Google search engine results, I cannot beat Google, all right? Because Google not only has 100,000 employees or whatever, they're all effing smart, and they're all competent, and they're all working together as a team. I, one guy, cannot take on Google, all right? Because they have me beat on quality, and they have me beat on quantity, all right? It's the same thing in the markets, all right? You think a bunch of us peasants can take on the Federal Reserve and the central banks and Wall Street and like the smart money? No, they have hundreds, they have millions of employees combined and they're all pretty smart, all right? They're not dumb, all right? Because if they would have taken anybody, that means you and I could apply to Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan and then they'll just give us a job. That's not how it works, okay? They, you know, you have to actually know finance and then do math and. I don't know, basically do analysis and be creative, right? They, there's actually a lot of shit involved, right? It's something that I like, that's something that I can do, but I don't want to work on Wall Street, you know, I'm, you know, I'm too independent. So, knowing that, I mean, yeah, there's an economic collapse, but they can prop up the markets. I mean, look at China, they can do the same shit too. In fact, they've been doing that. That's why they're doing so well, right? Now you could say everything's a lie. Yeah, that's true, but... I mean, how much of a lie can you really get away with? That's the thing. Because, you know, my own two eyes, when I go out and, and Target or whatever, right, a grocery store, yeah, I can actually see prices coming down a bit. In fact, today's temperature 
You know, I better do this in Chrome because I don't want to reveal where I am by accident. I'm checking the weather. 76 degrees. Okay. Giving the RLA. What's gonna? How hot is it gonna be today? 82. Okay. So yesterday was scorching and humid. Today is much better. So I might actually just walk by because I should take a walk anyway, right? Good exercise. Get some air. I wouldn't mind leaving the apartment. Right? We'll walk by, look at the gas prices, and go, oh, New York City gas prices. You know, I just want to see how much lower it's become. All right? It's the same thing with commodities. All right? One reason why I'm not panicking is, yeah, I could I could go here, look at the uh, commodity prices, see this shit's coming down. I'm going to go to the gas station, and I know there's gasbuddy.com, and see, yeah, gas prices are coming down, but I need to confirm with my own two eyes if I can do that. All right, because nothing beats first-person experience, right? You know, if everyone tells you one thing and then you go out there and you see the complete opposite, guess what? You now have a financial and tactical advantage over everyone because you see the truth and everyone's a, you know, retarded, manipulated idiot, right? Because they believe everything that, you know, freaking fake news terrorism tells them, right? Sometimes the news tells you the truth, but a lot of times they, they, they don't. So that's why you got to, like, you know, look at this stuff. Yeah, I know, this is funny. It's supposed to be a financial video, and all I'm doing is, like, something, you know, much different. So, yeah, I can already feel the change. But this is important, because this is how I analyze things fundamentally. I just don't really talk about it, all right? Why can I see things that other, others cannot, all right? You know, Cobra Tate's uh, favorite word is, what is it called? Persipacity, right? Your ability to analyze and analyze things. Uh, I'm not a big fan of using big words, even though I'm a really smart guy. I don't need to prove to anyone that I'm a smart guy, all right? I know I'm a smart guy, and everyone else can see that. And people who say otherwise, I know they're just anonymous trolls, and I just block them because it's not even worth my time to even try to engage. It's like they're just there just to try to, like, waste my time because that's the point. You know, but I'm too smart because I can see that. That's why I'm smart, okay? So, you know. All right, anyway... Um, I need to talk about the dollar because I have not been talking about the dollar in my previous videos because there's so much other crap going on. So, all right. So again, I see the stock markets, ugh, stock markets, bond, U.S. bond markets are pretty stable, right? Uh, what's interesting is people are on Wall Street, the smart money, are now pricing a 50-50 chance of a 75 to 100 hundred basis points rate hike. It's no longer guarantee, near guaranteed that we're going a full one percent. Right? Because the Federal Reserve, I think it's Bullard, right? Fed Fed guy Bullard, right? They're doing what Greg Greg Manorino always says. They flow out one Federal Reserve guy, right? Calls him a freak or something like that. Says one thing, then another Fed guy or Fed gal comes in and says the opposite. So it's like you don't know what the hell's going on. Me, personally, I still think the Fed should just do 1 to 1 1.25%. We're already in a recession, right? We're already getting banged up the ass without our permission and without Vaseline. So we should just get it over with. Because if you don't tame inflation, right? Because I do think they actually do want to deal with inflation. Because if they, do, if they did not, then this would not be going down, right? So far, the money supply would not be going down, even though they still haven't updated this yet. All right, it's a little flat here. It's a little flat here. All right. Of course, this is... A... Oh, updated July 14th. So they finally updated this number. Okay, so it's a little flat. In fact, it's actually increasing slightly. Ah, so there you go. All right. I actually was thinking they would drop it a little bit, but they're not increasing it either because they know they have to deal with uh, inflation. So I want to be seeing, you know, effort by the Fed to try to rein in inflation in some intelligent manner. Because they did say they, because they are currently telling everyone, hey, we're not in a recession and we don't want to try to uh, induce a recession, but we might be in one. So that's actually reflected in this, right? They're trying to do like a very difficult balancing act on a tightrope. I think that's what it's called, a tightrope. All right, I mean, fine. But... I, again, I would prefer they just get it over with, but obviously I don't control the Fed, so, you know, maybe that's a good thing. All right, so stock futures are flat. This thing is pretty stable. Um, I guess it obviously if it gets out of hand, the central banks will just buy this shit up again. Uh, we'll have to wait till next week to see if this uh, Fed balance sheet also uh, goes up or down, so that'll be interesting. 
And let's see, what's PDBC doing? What's PDBC doing? The commodities took a pretty uh, nice hit yesterday before it kind of came back. Aftermarket is up a little bit. Yeah, so this is negative. Okay, so we might get a little bit of negative because I know there's some economic data coming in. Hey, okay. oh, crude oil. Retail sales rise more hmm, than expected in June. Hmm, that's interesting. Rose 1% in June, more than expected. Sales would rise 0.9. And this, is, this isn't even that much. It's literally a fract. It's literally ten percent of a percent. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So anyway, no matter how bad things get, they're just gonna buy up the market, and then if Greg Manorino is right, there'll be a saturation point, and then this whole thing can no longer be bought up. I don't know about that because people said the exact same shit in two thousand eight, and what is the oh, and then the Federal Reserve came to the rescue, and then well, here we are. All right, and when nobody was complaining since 2009 when we came off from the bottom and we've enjoyed like what 12 13 years of like making a crap load of money for free All right and the thing I want to watch is cryptocurrencies because cryptocurrencies have been very resistant lately go uh, when when the markets go down crypto doesn't really go down all that much when they usually do that so that's already telling me that something is up all right, it's very subtle. No one else is talking about it, all right, because they're not as smart as I am, unfortunately. And I'm like, hmm, okay. And yeah, I, people are still shorting and uh, going bare on crypto. And they could be right, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think the central banks and the smart money are letting this shit go down. That's the problem. So it should be going down, but is this number updated yet? But, I mean, if you're, they still have not updated this. All right. So, anyway, we're in a recession, right? So, after we get the, after July 27th, the FOMC meeting, and after July 28th, which is the official, uh, the official first estimate of quarter two 2022 GDP, which is this, right, the real number, Right. Once we get a confirmation that we're in a recession, unless they decide to, you know, surprisingly move this number up towards zero, so they they could say, oh, we're not in a recession, and they start lying. You know, that's the only. Those are the only two events I can think of that's going to tank crypto, right? But to be honest, I would not short, right? In the elite Discord, people have been shorting. I literally have told them stop shorting crypto because they keep losing money. Yeah, because of this. All right. So, I don't know. I mean, in fact, that's why I've stopped shorting the markets. All right? I did it for a while. I've also tweeted it out. Hopefully, I said it on my video, too. But, yeah, they're not letting it go. Uh, I mean, they're not letting this shit go down. So, I don't know. Someone's wrong somewhere. All right? And I can see it. So, hmm. Is there anything else? No. I mean, everything looks fine for now. Right? But, Amy Greg, it could be right. You know, I could be wrong. That's totally possible. I have no problem with that. All right. So, yeah, maybe I have a little bit of spare paper money. I don't know. How much money is this? I don't know. This is like 100 bucks or whatever, right? Also, I shouldn't leave money out in the open, but, you know, I, I, where I am is pretty safe. You know, also, if someone steals it, I mean, they're not going to steal just the money. I'd be more worried about them stealing the effing computer because that's way more valuable. You know, I can replace 100 bucks. Placing my computer, that's going to actually be a problem, all right? Which means I'm going to have to start using my shitty laptop, assuming they don't steal that, too. So, uh, yeah, so have some cash on hand. That was the point of me pulling that out. So, yeah, just have some cash on hand in case the system becomes illiquid. But even then, I remember 2008, 2009. People were complaining about it, but I didn't have a problem. My, my debit card, my credit card still worked back then. Actually, I defaulted on my credit card, so uh, my debit card was still working uh, back then. Oh, yeah, I didn't have to pay it off, right, because Bank of America tried to claim, and then they kind of failed, right? And then I just waited them out, and then after seven years, they had to discharge the debt, and I never had to pay it. I had to declare it on income, but because I was, like, poor at the time, living with mom and dad, well, I didn't have to pay taxes on that either. So, you know, the banks got their bailout, and I got my bailout. 
All right, but I have to wait seven years because the system is rigged against you and me, and it's bullshit. So you know they're gonna like f us up the ass. Well, I'm gonna f them right back. All right, you know, hey, I didn't make up these rules. I would have made a nice system, right? But I don't know. This is, that's just how it goes. So you know, it's their fault. It's their fault. You know. So. Hmm. All right. So anyway, before I just start rambling on, I think that's it because. I just don't see anything, uh, I just don't see anything. Right, I'm going to do one last refresh. Alright, so this just going to have to come later, probably 9.30 or 10, so yeah, I'm not going to whatever. So anyway, like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you again to all the uh, old and new people watching this channel. Uh, welcome, welcome, and thank you. And uh, I know this wasn't really a more economics and markets type of focused uh, video, but... I don't know. I mean, I guess I've been consuming different kinds of content because I'm always looking to improve, right? And the more you can expand your horizons and, you know, learn new shit, you know, your chances of making money actually go up, right? Especially in my situation because, you know, as good as crypto has been to me, I really need to expand, right? You know, there's a reason why my money is, like, you know, kind of depleted, right? So, you know, I need to step up my game, and I will. All right, yeah, but if it fails, well, I move back in with mom and dad, and then I still do whatever it is I'm supposed to do, learn new shit, and then I move out. All right, that's just how it goes. You know, my shit's going up and down with the markets. All right, but I don't know. People talk a lot of shit about the central banks and the Fed. Fine, but right now they're propping things up. Wall Street's propping things up, and uh, we're making money again. So not a lot yet, but hey, you know, if they weren't there and they then things would still come down and there'd be no chance of, you know, shit going up. So what would I rather have? Yeah. In fact, I'm going to go back to 21,000 Bitcoin. Great. Good. Good. So I'll let you know how the Hustlers University 2.0 thing goes. If it makes a lot of money, well, I mean, you'll clearly see that. You know, and if it does not work, I'll let you know too. All right? And I'll tell you why. Because maybe the problem is me and it's not them. You know, I, I have to find out, because I tried looking at a bunch of YouTube stuff, and they literally don't say freaking anything. It's very annoying. I think it's because they have a rule, don't talk, like Fight Club, don't talk about specifics at all or something. You know, I, I can understand that. So what I'll probably do is, my will, mine will be a real review, and I'm going to tell people, here's the success, here are the losses, here's what you can expect, here's what you cannot expect, and then, of course... Up to you to decide whatever, and I throw in my affiliate link. So, yeah, they make like Cobra Tate and his brother Tristan. Because, yeah, actually, before they got banned, Tristan Tate was actually following me on Twitter, and I followed them back. So, that, that that's what it was. You know, so. Yeah, they now make like two and a half to three million dollars a month in subscriptions to that stuff, but that's because there's 50,000, 60,000 people in Hustlers University. So if you're going to maintain that kind of user count, daily active users, DAO, then that probably means you're actually doing what you say you're saying. Because 50 bucks a month is actually, like, it's 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 affordable, but it's not a nothing either. That's still, like, a decent chunk of change. So you, you better get your $50 uh, dollars worth. So, yeah. Anyway, this video is already, like, a million years long. Uh, have a nice weekend. I'll see you all on uh, Monday. I'll, I'll make this title uh, different so that, you know, if some of you are just annoyed, which you really shouldn't, but, you know, you were expecting mostly money stuff, um, you know, I'll, 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 t I'll title this uh, correctly. But, yeah, real quick recap. I don't see anything wrong. In fact, bond markets are extremely stable. Oh, God, I keep hitting the wrong buttons here. Crypto is going up, markets, stock markets are not going up yet, but they're not quite going down. It's a lot of volatility, but I wouldn't be surprised if everything starts going back up. Yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're pushing stuff back up. And then, of course, Greg's going to do his doom and gloom thing. I mean, his bias is starting to really show. It's like, yeah, I guess he'll need a little more time to adjust. It's like, okay, yeah, that's why I'm expanding my horizons. As much as I like Greg and I still like and respect him, it's like, okay, it's, um, can, can people, like, it's staring you in the face. Yeah, everything's manipulated. Okay, well, okay, well, they're, they're succeeding. They're succeeding. All right? I mean, 
the system was able to convince everybody to stay locked up in their houses and wear the stupid mask and then uh, get the thing that you had to get. All right. So if you have that much power to do that, then you probably have enough power to convince everyone, hey, go buy shit in the stock market. Oh, hey, it's okay to go back into cryptocurrencies. We're going to prop it up. Oh, yeah, hey, we're the central bank. We can do that because we can buy everything. And that's what they're doing. Uh, uh, <laughs> have a nice weekend. See you Monday. Um, I'm not short. I'm very defensive. But so far, it, do, it, it is looking like they are forcing a bottom and it is working. So, you know, take, take what you will from that.